Now our dear old mum has reached the age of 16 And it's time for her to quit and have a rest Put up her feet and start to take things easy Cause your children think you've done your very best Happy birthday. I don't know what I've done to deserve all this. It's only my birthday. Oh, it's lovely to see the triplets. Look at them, like peas in a pot. So happy, happy birthday, birthday, dear old mum. From your daughter and your pair of loving sons. So happy birthday, dear old mum. Nice, isn't it, Mum? Took Monty all day. Well, am I dead or something? Um, I started working here when I left school, and I've never thought of leaving. Never could. And Mum's taught me all I know. I think she's probably forgotten more than, than we'll ever know. <laughs> um, but now it's time for her to hang up her secateurs. I hope I shall not be found wanting. Uh, my sister Hilda and I have a vision for this place. And uh, with us together at the helm, we shall transform it. No offence, Mum. I ain't retiring. I thought we discussed. A new eye, etc., taking us into the 21st century. This garden centre has been in the family for 150 years. I am not going to stand by and watch you piss it into the wind. But you said... You have to retire at 60. It's the law of the land. I think the shop's on fire. Winston! Call the fire brigade, quick! I told him not to overload that plug. These electrics are a death trap. What the hell? Don't make me laugh. That's things! Oh, my life's in that little shop. Every memory I ever had of your father. Stand back. Don't be ridiculous! plant won't sell, I'll put the kibosh on the whole deal. Billy, Billy, Billy. She'll sell. I would never sell to you at any price, not never, no how. She's an old flame. What can I tell you? Where else are the Americans going to put their heliport, eh, Dad? There is nowhere else. It has to be on the river. We don't need anywhere else. There's more than one way to skin an old lady. No, I say for a barbecue. Leave you in charge? Don't make me laugh. Where's that ornamental gnome? I'll leave him in charge. At least he won't burn the place down. Maybe your mum would pay you to rebuild that shed. God knows you could do with the work. Yeah. Only my stubborn, stupid mother could turn down a 300 grand offer in this bleeding recession. What? She knows we're strapped for cash at the moment. Oh, she wouldn't dream of giving up a poxy garden centre to help out the family. 300 grand? Oh, even if she only gave us some. I thought they couldn't give Docklands away. Oh, what would I do without you, Hilda? Oh, my body is racked with pain, the like of which I've never had to endure before. Sure you don't want me to call the doctor? What for? He's got me down as a hypochondriac. I said to him, hypochondriacs get ill as well, you know. <sighs> Your brother. Men. Always trying to take over. 
Well, we'll show them. Won't we, Eels? Get out of the garden centre and find me their Achilles heel. They won't sell to you, then. Don't they? mention my name. Smile. They'll sell to you. Billy, we're riding the razor's edge through this recession. On the one side, heaven. The other side, hell. You should have known she'd never retire. Then why did she say she would? To keep morale up. I sort of thought that was why we'd been working our butts off for the past lifetime. Take over. This place, Hilda, this place could be an island of beauty amidst the sea of grey. Our garden could bring happiness to all who venture through our front gates. People would come from miles around just for the experience. The sounds. The smells. The sights. Tulips, marshmallows, palm trees, chestnuts, ivy-clad gazebos, hearts, hot chocolate, monkeys, sunflowers, butterflies. At the very heart, my love. Do you know what we need? A skip. In the end, you still got this place and you still got your band. You serve him, Hilda. I don't have the heart. Need any help? Hello there, how are you? All right. <laughs> I'm looking for some ideas for my garden. It's a mess. I want it totally transformed. If I come to the right place. Like I say, sir, um, this letter fortuitously um, dropped into my lap. Uh, and so I wanted to uh, confidentially come and see you. Confidentially, mine. You know, he's my old girl when all said and done. Yes, well, you were interested in purchasing an office property in that area. So who knows, the garden centre might be of interest to my clients as well. Well, I'm a builder. I know the value of things. Oh, I agree with you, it's a fair price. I mean, our gas is beyond repair. Well, I can't get embroiled in family squabbles. But if I can get a cell, you would still be interested. Of course, I'd be working as your, uh, kind of estate agent kind of thing. <laughs> Normally, I'd be too busy. But, uh, what with the recession, etc., etc., well... One-eyed builders are always the first to go. Need I say more? <laughs> if it's mine this month, you'll get £5,000. Do you have any little ones? Uh, yeah. Two. Girls. Bloody good, that. Bloody good. Yeah, it's meant for that one, Mon. We're wasted in a place like this, wasted. While we're on the subject. Uh, well, we, we've had a bit of bad news from the landlord, Monty. Didn't want to say nothing until after the rehearsal. We've done that song wicked, Mon. We're being replaced by a karaoke machine. A karaoke machine. He wants to appeal to a new clientele. Well, isn't that absolutely typical? Decisions are being made by people with no vision. When are they going to cotton on? It isn't about the fast buck anymore. It's about the quality, about the beauty. Any chance you shifting your gear by Friday? I'm having to place toshed over the weekend. I'm going to have to start shifting rocks myself. Hey, lads, lads, anybody got any drugs?
Come and take a break. Alt to beaver on, etc. Why? Have you got any ideas or what? <laughs> I'll leave it all in your capable hands. Australian. Really? Have you been here long? No, it's rented. I've got a low boredom threshold. I'd like to move on. Onwards and upwards. Do you work round here, if it's not too? I'm living off my golden handshake from a city job. One of those whiz kids. Now I'm looking for a more mellow occupation. <sighs> um, we could cover the back fence with clematis. It's beautiful from spring to autumn. You're in charge. Oh. I thought you'd have contact lenses for such an up-and-down job. They do slip a bit in the hot weather, but my mum reckoned the bigger frame suited me. She ever suggested you have calipers fitted? <laughs> I need them for football. Ah, what position do you play? I'm a Millwall fan. <sighs> At five grand would see a sweet faith. Your mum won't never sell. She'll be running that place when she's a hundred. Not with that brother Monty's help, she won't. <laughs> what do you mean? She couldn't keep the place going without him. And if someone drives a wedge between them, they're not going to be too tricky after last night's debacle, eh? <sighs> 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 Einstein with a forearm smash, eh? <laughs> She's been very unfair. Well, you've worked all your life to keep that place afloat, and all she does is ridicule your ideas. I'm determined to transform that humble garden centre into something so glorious, so profound. I know, bruv. I know. The plantation. Sounds blinding. You understand what I'm talking about? Yeah. Sort of. Disney, innit? Yeah. <laughs> well, making people happy, that's all I'm all about. Yeah. You should withdraw your labour. She couldn't manage without you. Then she'd understand what you're feeling. She couldn't manage without me, you're right there. Of course she couldn't. Let her see that. She'll be begging you to come back. Then you can start putting your own plans into action. struggling with the insurance forms I needed to unwind. I want to talk to you about retiring. When I'm dead, you can pick through my possessions like a vulture. Oh, Mum. Well, that's how you make me feel. 
Your dad would turn in his grave listening to you harangue me. The sacrifices I've had to make for you. Mum, I'm in my prime. I could make things so much better. I just keep things ticking over now. I'm young, buzzing, let me have a go. Let me have a go and I shall not be found wanting. Give you the rope and you'd hang yourself. Doing? I'm leaving home. I'm packing. Don't be daft. Do you want your cocoa? Mum, it was always understood that I was going to take charge. You never said when. What's going on? I'm sorry, Hilda. You reckon he's leaving home? Well, it's night time. Do you want a cocoa? I offered. Turned his nose up, he did. Where's my old melody makers? Them old magazines? They were under my bed. You've been in my room. The mice got to them. Well, what do you want them for? How long are you going for? I'll come back if, when, I'm in charge. Not for reasons megalomaniacal. I have a dream for this place, but my life is turning into a nightmare. Aren't those my cards? Oh, no, no, I haven't. I was only, only saying. People shouldn't say things they don't mean. Where are you going to go? Batman's boat. You ain't taking the van. You can't drive. I paid for it. All right, I'll get a cab. Stubborn to the bitter end. Go in the morning. I'll make you a sandwich. She can stop me going any time she wants. She knows what she's got to say. Even the little man, the downtrodden, can make decisions. And sometimes those decisions can have undressed of effects. I cite Lech Valenza, the man who threw the first brick in Eastern Europe. Mum, if I walk out that door, you'll be throwing away the baby and keeping the bathwater. You shan't bully us, Monty. I shall go, Mum. I shall. I shall go. Tell her, Hilda. We got to be strong. Look after each other. I wish we had a dog. This is the dawning of a new age for me, Batman. I got more shut eye when Nelly the Greek stopped over. You've been a bit of a stoat since your divorce, haven't you? Well, when you've got a body like mine, why not share it? You're not seeing that red head of yours anymore? No. No, no. Turned out I was a bit of a fatal attraction for her. I thought I'd better ease off the throttle a bit. Who does breakfast? You does. Well, I don't mind having a bash. Life on the ocean wave, eh, Batman? What's this, an experiment? Does this thing go? We could have a little cruise on the river later. I wouldn't have been able to swap it for a V-Reg TR7 if it went. I'm a piano teacher, not a mechanic. I don't believe you. I'll have a little tinker with it. Mum and Hilda will be up by now. I'll give it till tea time before they realise they cannot cope without me. Yeah. Oh. We need Monty back. I will not be cajoled by my own kith and kin. Well, what about employing someone? They'd only want paying. Well, don't you think it would be money well spent? Me and your gran kept the place open every day during the Blitz. If Mr Sodden Hitler couldn't beat us, I'm damn sure Montgomery won't. Now get the wheelbarrow.
Yeah, get your shoes rehealed. Yeah, things are looking up. Well, now the Rotherhithe cowboy is off his horse, all that remains is the Millwall Virgin. Well, she could do with rehealing. Yeah, and uh, Appa's replaced. Now, work your way into her soul. If you sell a business, you could have heaven on earth. You love Clacton. Just cos Monty's done a Fletcher Christian doesn't mean that I'm ready to throw in the towel. He's abandoned me and his poor sister who's got enough problems of her own to worry about. Oh, absolutely. I don't know how he can live with himself. As far as I'm concerned, he's struck out the family Bible. Do you mum some toast, Winston? Not if Marmite's your best offering. Look, you ain't got a job. I got one spare. What? You are my only son and heir now, after all. But I... Now, which of you girls is going to nip out and get your old gran some marmalade? Don't mind if I tag along, do you? No. No, of course not. It's nice. What's your favourite flower? Lily. No one knows what a lily's like when it's in the ground. Just needs a bit of sun, a bit of water, a lot of nurturing. And he pressed all. You should brush your hair forward a bit. <sighs> what? To keep birds off the grass seed, you mean? <laughs> I don't know why you go on like that. Been hiding your light under a bushel for too long. What are you like? <laughs> I have often walked down this street before But the pavement always stayed beneath my feet before Suddenly am I several stories high Knowing I'm on the street where you live Here are much. Close, mate. Shut. Don't look so gormless. We've got to eat. Put it back. Time waster. a little bet with myself you'll be here before we got back. Thing is, Mum thinks you may have inadvertently taken one of our towels. What? You know what she's like, Monty. 25 years I slave away for that Harridan, and instead of asking me back nicely... Well, thing is, she's asked Winston nicely. But she's persuaded him to work at the garden centre, him being... having no work. For Judas. You prodigal! What are you doing? Having a pipe. You know what I'm talking about. You tell me to get out, then you sneak in in my place. I told you to withdraw your labour, not half scare the ladies to death. Don't nonce me off, Winston. What is the point of me withdrawing my labour if you're going to come and work here, eh? Hey, you see? Oh, shut your face. You reckon you're on an earner out of this, don't you? A third of it's mine. You'd earn more on the dole. What are you up to? Mum! Winston, can you give me a hand with some peat that needs loading? Oh, sure, Mum. That's what I'm here for. I don't want to see you again until you shut up about all those silly ideas. Disney in Millwall. <laughs> Truth, dare, kiss or promise. I'll break the habit of a lifetime and go for truth, eh? You give no one yet. Who? Old green fingered flow, whatever she's called. No. I'm flirting. That's all I need to do with Hilda Plant. Putty. You're a chip of the old step block. Well, she's the key to unlock us the heliport. My money's on Winston selling his family down the river before you smarm Hilda into action. How much? I'll tell you what, Mum. I don't mind doing my bit, but Superman, I ain't. I mean, Hilda's tired, cos up to when I came on the scene, she'd been carrying the rest of the workforce. That's not why you're tired, is it, Auntie Hilda? Did you sort out the books? Auntie Hilda's got a paid seven fella. 
Don't be silly, girls. And who grew us out in the fencing? Monty. <laughs> no wonder he's gone up to find himself. And when he does, I just hope he can live with himself. I mean, the mess he's left here. What's the matter with the fencing? Well, I managed to sell it, but basically, I, uh, I had to give it away. What about the books? Not good. So is the business actually losing money? Yeah, yeah, I, I don't mind. Um, trimmed and um, hi highlighted a bit, a bit. Um, sort of brush forward, but keeping whatever. I'll have you looking a million dollars. Can't be bad for eighteen pound fifty, eh? For the worst, though, uh, I just, uh, well, I had a word with him on the phone. Oh, and uh, we'll pop into the solicitor on the way home. I want to amend my will. OK. Yeah, OK. Sure. <laughs> I'll do it when we get back, all right? Winston! Yeah, come in. The man to walk in the dark. Well, you've got to hand it to these Japanese. They know what the public wants. A sight more popular than the Nashville noise. Down to your hair. Does it look all right? Yeah, it does actually. Thanks. How's things on the home front? I think Winston. I think he's trying to sabotage the garden centre. Yeah, well, that don't surprise me one iota. That geezer's not got the passion. You know, it's not nice grassing on your brother. To your other brother, let me tell you, it's fine. I mean, there may have been a reason for it. He's put poison in the water tank, I think. I saw him tinkering. And the plants are wilting. I'm going home to talk to Mother. She's got to be told. Winston's trying to sabotage the business. Yes, I know. Incredible, isn't it? Flabbergasting. More heartbreaking. Must be worse for you owing to the fact that you liked him. Well, now, you've got to do what's right by me and Hills. I mean, the garden centre's like our heritage. You'll never answer me, will you? Never have, never will. Well, today's going to be a day you're going to remember for the rest of your life, because today's the day the worm turned. Oh, too much bother for you to listen, is it? Well, tough. For 42 years, I've lived in fear of you, what you would say, what you would think, but no longer. Gosh, that felt good. Oh, Mum. Talk to me now. Forgive me, I had to tell you. You see that, don't you? Cruel to be kind, etc. You're looking so pale. You can't go getting ill. You're the mum. You're so cold, mum. Oh, my God, you're dead. You haven't been listening to a single word I've been saying, have you? Well, isn't that just typical? Oh, my God, you're dead! Dead? <laughs> Uh, 
us be united in our grief, brother. Sure. I know all about what you've been up to. You behaved badly, but today, at least said soon is mended. We'll see about who's behaved badly, shall we, come Judgment Day. First time I've seen them not wearing black, and it's to my mother's funeral. All right, Uncle Monty. You're young. You've only known her in the last few years, but I tell you, she's. I'm gonna miss your nan, Susie. So where are you gonna live now she's dead? I should live in the house and build the plantation as a memorial to her. We don't think that's appropriate. What? Says who? You were ranged her to death about retiring. What are you talking about? I never did. I love that woman. I love that woman. Faults and all. She died of a broken heart. And you broke it. You ain't coming back home, Monty. Shh. At time of great sorrow, we all need the open hand of friendship. My deepest sympathies. Oh, I'm, I'm so glad you could make it, Mr. Uh, Mr. What, uh, Willis? Yes. Um, my wife, Faith. Uh, this is um, Mother's old uh, friend. Oh, Enchanty. <laughs> well, if the worst comes to the worst, Mont, you could always crash on the boat. Look at him, bloody lord of the manor, all of a sudden. Don't start nothing, Mon. Not here, not today. Your sister, Mon. I think black's her colour. Who's her young buck she's with? Lovely service, wasn't it? I understand you're the daughter. My deepest sympathies. I was an old friend of your mother's. Still, I suppose even hypochondriacs get ill and die. <laughs> Sorry, Billy. Don't be daft. It's nice of you to come without me turning on the waterworks, etc. You should be proud of your mother's life. You should celebrate it. She could be really cantankerous, but, but I always knew. Yeah, every time you smell a rose. Or out there and the sun warms you back. You should think that's my mum smiling down on me. It was a nice service, wasn't it? I mean, the vicar didn't even know Mum, but he made it seem as though he did. Things are brilliant. Perfect. The business. It's all over. It's yours. It's just that, um... I've still got to feed the hungry mouse and my family. Are you asking for an advance? I mean, if that's all right, yeah. Well, this is hardly the time. Oh, yeah. Tempest Fugit. <laughs> I can see it all now. Raised to the ground. I won't shed no tears. I better get back in, because, uh, you know.
gonna make you proud of me. You still here? Apparently. Put all their knickknacks in a box, and that's it. Life over. Finished. Forgotten. She won't be forgotten. You'll remember her. This room's already like a museum. She's only been dead five minutes and the life has left it. Well, suddenly I feel like I've got to be respectful to a cup she used to drink out of. Drawers full of panty girdles have suddenly become icons. If you've got something to say, just say it. I thought I already had that. This place has nothing to do with you in any case. It's my home. And Hilda and I don't want to sell it. Oh, no. No, pal, no. Look, you used to live here, but you left. And now I'm back, because a third of this gap is mine. Look, this is Mum's house to do with as she wished. Are you trying to tell me something? Yeah. Mum got very close to me and Faith towards the end. Towards the end? You're not kidding towards the end. The last week, the 20 years before that, it was muggings. Look, she was determined to leave the garden centre to be in faith rather than have you fritter it away on some balmy notions. Yeah, chick, chick, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look, it's kill or be killed, Monty. Fair enough. <laughs> Wives at your mother's funeral. If you've got no respect for yourselves, at least have a bit for Mum. He's a copy of her will. Dear children, some things can never be divided. I tried to divide my affection for you all, but Winston, being a money-grubbing toad, and Monty, having his head so far in the clouds he couldn't see what a fool he was making of himself, it wasn't always easy. Hilda's love and dedication has earned her my entire estate. Her father would have been proud of the selfless way she has sacrificed her life for that of the garden centre. Your affectionate mother. Party's over, Winston. Collect your family and go. Hills? It was me that drained the water barrel. Get out! if you're fighting like a fishwife. We're gonna do it. Hey, Hilda. Of course we are. I can't believe that vindictive old woman's left everything to Hilda. So I believe you owe me? Not yet, I don't. First, you get in there and spin her a yarn. Schmooze me, my heliport. Have no fear. Billy's here. Here. You're going to have to watch him. We're wanting a wage next. See you on the bridge in two hours. Yep. What do you reckon? I reckon you're a natural. 
Come on, darling, I'll catch you. Oh, what are you like? Jump! <laughs> I love it here. It's nice, isn't it? No, I mean being with you. Together. I just wish it could be forever. You're a contemptible, avaricious, unemployed builder who'd rat on his own family to save his own infested carcass. What do you think, Winston? I don't think it's a lost cause yet. You're wasting my time. You don't own the garden centre, your sister does. So I'm not getting the advance, then? Is that it? I could have had my teeth capped while we've been talking. Go away! I invested in... stupidly. But it's not your problem. Has it all gone wrong? Americans. Huh. I wanted to take you there. That's why I hadn't said anything. I wanted to be a surprise, me and you. My alleged partner has done the dirty on me, leaving me to face a huge debt. Or bankruptcy. Oh, that's awful. Tell the police. No, I'm liable. Small print. Leaves me owing a lot of people a lot of money. Dangerous people. I'm going to have to leave you. And this place. I was falling in love. Isn't there anything we can do? Hmm. I've got Mum. Where's Hilda? Typical. She'd forget her own head if it is loose. She inherits everything and don't bother to tip up. I ain't got time to hang around. Let's get on with it. We'll scatter Mum and go our separate ways. You've got every right to hate me. I'm detestable. I'm a horrible, horrible person. You have been. I mean, you are. Life ain't been easy for you since you lost your eye, I know that. God knows I let my family down. I let you down. Let our Hilda down. All the time we hit crossroads. Who knows which paths we're supposed to take? Maybe when I wake up in the morning, we'll be kids again. Could you play different? Truth. Go on. Yeah. Yeah. Not a word to faith. The thing is, after all said and done, you've never stopped being my brother. It's just the three of us now. Always was a carsy. <laughs> filth. <laughs> filth. Filth everywhere. Well, this is very, very kind of you. My dear, to do a, an act of simple unselfishness, not motivated by, by greed or, or profit, you do have the deeds. Were you a great friend of Mother's? She has a place in my heart. Excuse me. Oh. Everything's going to be all right, Billy. Now, I'll lend you £80,000. You give me the deeds of the garden centre as, as security. Now, you can give the 80000 to Billy. Right. And uh, I'll take care of it until we dock. To absent friends.
given Billy eighty thousand pounds. He was in trouble. Well, so are you now? Where did you get eighty k? Well, I, I, I had to meet this chap. He's a friend of Billy's. He's really nice. He lent it me. Friend of Billy's? It's all right. He was a friend of Mum's as well. He was here at the funeral. What's his name? Oh, Monty, you'd have done the same. I know you would. What's the bloke's name? Wesley Willis. He's really nice. I had to give him the deeds of security, but he doesn't even want interest. Well, Wesley Willis is a man who's been trying to buy this place. Hilda, you fool! This toy boy's taken you for a ride! He's not a toy boy! He's a confidence trickster. Oh, it all falls horribly into place. He loves me! You borrow 80 grand from someone who's desperate to buy the garden centre and you give it away to Billy? He loves me, I know he does. He told me. Where is he? Where's his bloody friend? Oh, I'm gonna turn him limb from limb. He had to go to America for a few days. Fool! You poor, helpless fool! You've thrown it all away on the promise of a kiss! Well, that's all you know. You don't know anything about me and Billy. He has kissed me, actually. And he wants to be with me forever because he loves me. Haven't you ever seen these old films <laughs> where the lonely spinster starts getting her hair done and then sells Papa's ranch to help her young beau out of a tight corner? <laughs> Done, Monty. And the band needs its MOT. In every seed of flower sleeps, waits for spring to be released, waiting for the rainy season. In every seed of blossom lies, waiting for the sun to rise, a white snowdrop and a pink carnation. I'm flowered up. in a little garden centre by the river. Now it's gone to seed. The old toots who ran it has shuffled off her mortal coil. She was an ex-fluffy of his. Anyway, using standard business practices, I managed to persuade her incompetent offspring to sell the deeds to me. So we could sell it to an American for ten times the price. Keeps my stepson in Paco Rabanne. This is to find out our exact legal what's it. Confirmation of the fact that you've been duped out of everything the family ever owned by a toy boy. I trust him. You're naive. And that's being generous to a fault. You two are so... so sad that you look for the bad in everyone. You'll see. Cataclysmic. Cataclysmic. Good or bad? They are... Hook, line, and bleeding sinker. The horse's mouth. Legal position, you haven't got a leg to stand on. You have to return the 80,000 to Wesley Willis. And what if you don't pay Willis? Then the house and garden centre become his at the end of the month. This I owe you from Billy. It's practically worthless. <laughs> Doesn't say when he has to repay you. Well, thanks, Hilda. Thanks a bundle. 
Mum thought she could rest easy, leaving it to you. Well, thank God she's dead, because this would kill her. How could you give him the deeds of security? No! Idiot! Idiot! <sighs> Hello. Billy! Didn't think I'd miss the game, did you? I said to the Yankees, Saturday and cold blow lanes are calling. You look lovely. Uh, I've... You... America! Well, I've been, but I'm back. I'm back and I'm better than before. Boston, Arkansas. Ah, oh, Hilda, I wish you'd been there. All that Bible-bashing, gun-toting mentality. At least you don't get a Bible-bashing round Millwall. I've sorted out my uh, legal position. I've uh, deposited the money with the creditors for the debts. Have you come with my money? <laughs> well, thereby hangs a tale. Um, Where is it? Well, you, you'll get it. It's just that I, I don't know when. Do you... Do you have a proper girlfriend? What are you on about? What do you mean? Han? Han? Who's been filling your head with this nonsense? You just want my home! Hills? <laughs> Every six months, which ain't never going to be a share. Never mind about her. What about Hilda? I think she really did fall for that Billy. Yeah, like a stray dog. Some gangly youth pats it on the head, and she trots behind with her tongue hanging out. Like you with me, you mean? You eh? wish. <laughs> <laughs> Get off! I don't want to lose the only job we've got between us. She ain't used to men. They promise you the earth, and you end up in a brick shoebox with rain dripping on your head when you're cooking. Maybe we've all got our disappointments. Look, will you sod off? Do something before you get me in the tin tack. I've really got to do something to help build her out. I thought charity began at home. If this was a hundred yard dash, we'd be 15 yards up and the gun hasn't even gone bang! You've got ten grand saved, I've got five. That leaves 65 to go until the end of the month to do it. What are you looking so glum about? Millwall lose? Uh, yeah. Good game. All right. This is one game we're going to win. Mum dies and you get that flaming old rope out again. Conference, we're having a conference. Never mind conference. I'm here to help. Well, blood being thicker than water. Firstly, we shut up shop here, right? Then we flog off the stock as a job lot. Clearance sale. Well, it's the only way we'll be able to get our hands on the money by the end of the month. Then we can open up afresh. Ah! <laughs> 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 oh, what's that? <laughs> We've been rambled, eh? Well, it's nothing to laugh about. We've had it. Ah, it's bound to happen. Yeah, but they could get the money together now. Huh. I suppose not, really. Who did it? Winston? Monty? The creosote kid? She hit you? Oh, no fury like a woman scorned. I wouldn't have credited it. Me neither. Did you hit her back? No. You're weakening, son. Go on, win! <laughs> Piece of pudding. Wrap your legs round tight. Go on, you can do it. What's going on? That's really dangerous, that is. Elder, Elder, we've done a deal with God. If Wynn can get up the rope and into the lock, oh, we're going to raise the 80,000. I can't. What's he tied to? My fish tank. Hey? I'm joking, I'm joking. It's quite safe. It's tied to the rad. I fit is that? Oh. <laughs> Go on, Wynn! Yeah, Go on! Yeah, on you head. can do it! Go on! Yeah, that's it! Go on! Yeah, yeah. You've done it!
Is that all you got for everything? You got nothing nice to say. Don't say nothing at all. Reckons he was doing his turn as it is. Got to be worth a low more than five grand. Do you want a bid six? No. Well, shut up then. Where would I put this lot on my boat? Deck flowers. I've been coming here since I was a kid. Sad, really. Not as sad as you. Ignore him, pal. It's not a good moment. Does Hilda know you've sold off the stock? I mean, she is a governor. These are for sale. They're my mother's. Were my mother's. Oh, I'll give you a hundred pounds for all of them. Would you risk being skinned alive by your sister for a fiver? Tenor. We need a mighty good clean. You're getting a good deal. Not for sale. 150. I'll give you 25 new pence. Not a penny more, not a penny less. Sold. 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 Bigger empty. I don't know why we didn't do this years ago. I thought you loved me. Sorry. Have I made a complete fool of myself? No. He's made a complete fool of you. Uh, you know what I mean. <laughs> we sat here on this very spot. We're family. We won't let you go under. One robin does not a winter make. We're not nearly there yet. Not even halfway, you know that, don't you, Monty? Mm. Have we had it? Well, I have got something on the subs bench of my mind. Think, think, think. Anything we've got of any value's already been sold. I'd sell my soul, but I don't suppose anyone would buy it. What, with the recession on? <laughs> 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 what about... Oh, no, no. <laughs> Couldn't even ask. What? Out of the question. What have I got that's worth anything like this? My house? What, a mortgage it, you mean? <sighs> Faith would never have that. She won't have anything to do with HP. She'd never know. We're right up against it, Wynn. If you saved us, Winston, I'll see you all right. How do you mean? Hilda will look after you. Once we've secured the garden centre, you'll get repaid in full, plus interest. If you don't help us here, when we're going to lose the whole shebang. You and you alone can save us. £40,000? It's got to be worth more than that. Yeah, I know there's a recession on me. I'm a builder, you don't have to tell me. Look, I need more than that. Forty grand ain't gonna solve my problem. Yeah, yeah, all right. Where do I sign? No wonder the neighbours don't talk to me no more. Constant around the gardens, more of a stigma than that poxy transit van. I'm gonna do a bit of a, a wrestling spectacular to help our money and Hilda out. You and your useless family. <laughs> Thank God you haven't got any money to throw at them. We'd all be in Queer Street then. Winston, Billy and that man. 
do? I'm going to rip them limb from limb. Oh, be careful, Winston. Good point, Hilda. It's a bit of a fruitcake, isn't it? Could flare up. But that's our land. He's out of order. Yeah. Oi! You! You're trespassing! Get off our land! I trust it's not inconvenient. Merely need a couple of photographs for the new heliport. You've got some front, you two, coming round here. Here comes the ritual abuse. Get off our land, or I'll kill you. Well, the hell, the hell, calm down, love. You, 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 you bastard. You've, you've ruined our life. You men are all the same. Just the sort of scene I hoped we'd avoid. The site needs to be prepared for the new owners. You shut up at all. Oh, the worm that turned has turned again. Yeah. Well, at least this time I've turned onto the right team now. You people. You don't care about anybody so long as you're the one that's winning. All your actions are evil. I hate you. Oh, yeah? Well, come on, then. Little boys shouldn't play with matches. They could get burned. Go ahead, Willis. Make my day. <laughs> Wonderful. Who do you think you are kidding, Mr. Hitler? Shoot him, Monty. Yeah, go ahead. Shoot me. Shoot me! While we have what's it's left in our bodies, you shall not advance to what is our rightfully inherited inheritance. Our mother would never sell to you, nor neither shall we. We shall rise above your squalor and be united in victory. Give me the gun, Monty. Oh, she will use it, Dad. Come on, let's go. Is he? Is he Willis? Do you hear that? What? Over there? Come on, let's go. Hey. One nil, 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 one nil. One nil, one nil, one nil, one nil. Now let's get this straight. You pack the place out and provide constant music for free. And I get to keep all the bar takings and anything Er makes on the food. That's about the size of it, yeah. Mm. You better get it punters in. Can't do it any sooner than the 31st, can you? I'm doing you a favour as it is. Look if I had any sense. Absolutely, but it's all in a good cause, remember? Keeping Mum's garden centre going and stopping the inevitable tide of these glorified Clark workers from trampling the likes of us into the ground. How much do you reckon people are going to pay to sing a song? Loads. The staff for three minutes, they'll flood in. All I'm saying is... This is the biggest job we've even had a sniff of for ages. Why don't we give the plants the market price just to make absolutely sure they go? It harrows me with fear and wonder. Well, yeah, I'm sure, but, you, you know, we could give them a decent amount, still come out ahead. The plants would be happy. Now, after all this, at the end of the day, we've only got ourselves to answer to. Stay illusion! If thou hast use of sound or voice, Speak unto me. What the hell are you doing? <sighs> have you been at the port again? Do you believe in ghosts? It's gone into you, Dad. I think I'm having a breakdown. It's a wrestling spectacular. Benefit for a great grapple fan. Yeah. It's a wrestling spectacular. It's a wrestling spectacular. It's a wrestling spectacular. Oh, no, no, it's short notice, but it was the only day we could get the all. This Saturday. Yeah. I badly this need his favour, pal. Mum loved you. Yeah. I got giant A stacks. That's right. Jock Jackson. Lucy Lastic. Yeah. He's cracking his Oh, and uh, Ken Fireman Hughes. Yeah. The ITV are going to ruin a day to have a took us off the air. Get off that bleeding phone! Oh, see you, Sammy.
How come you couldn't organise a wrestling spectacular to help your own family out? Yeah, well, when you're dead, I'll do one for you. Can't say fairer than that. Peace offering. <laughs> Hit me out. I know you hate me. I'm not completely evil. Oh, yes, you are. What if we buy the garden centre at the market price and forget about the loan? Well, you wouldn't feel duped, then. It's not for sale. 300 grand, you could buy another stupid garden centre. We don't want another stupid garden centre. You buy another one. We have a vision for that place. And when you get your 80,000 and we get the deeds... Go away! Hills. Keep taking the money. Cut yourself to program. Five, please. Just stick it in the jar. Before the kickoff, gents, um, I want to say that. Oh, uh, it's uh. Oh, well, uh, I don't know what I want to say, do I? But um, I know my old mum who. Uh, who gave most of you in here a bit of a lashing with a tongue in the past. Hey, she gave me a bit of a lashing with a stiletto as it goes. But I tell everyone it's a BCG, Mark. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. BCG. Oh, no, no, yeah, great. Well, look, I mean, uh, this this would be like a dream come true for her. But she saw the decline of wrestling the same way she saw the decline of the country. Yes, yeah, right. Yeah. I mean, wrestling was taken off on the telly and... Up went the crime rate. Yeah, that's yeah. right, yeah. Street yeah. violence, teenage pregnancy. Yeah. Well, she reckoned the country lost its grip and drowned itself in a cesspit of its own making the day ITV rescheduled Saturday afternoons. Yeah. 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 I really appreciate you all giving of your services gratis. And, uh, well, I know Mum would. <laughs> all right, lads. Let's go for it tonight. Have a good time, won't we? Look the scenery. Come on, lads. Plants of 300 thou. I can't stand a month of this. Yeah, close the deal now. Bermas is doing my brains in. Clear 3,000. Still leaves us too short. 2,000 pounds. It's a lot of pounds. I think we'll do it. 
You tell me. Do you think we should sell? I mean, if we're going to have to sell later anyhow. Do you want to sell? No. I never want to sell. If we're going to be forced to sell, then I want to go down screaming and kicking. I love you, Hills. Where is he? Where is the one-eyed bastard? What's the matter, Faith? Your brother. He's mortgaged my house. That's all. Did you know about this? Oh, my God. It's gone towards the Save the Garden Centre. Hasn't it? Sander. Crazy. Aye, aye. Where are you taking me? No, seriously. Oh, do you fancy going out for a bite some night? There's a nice little steakhouse by me. Fancy that? Come on over to my place. Hey, hey. <clears throat> no, thanks. Curry? You know, now you're not fraternising that Billy. Don't be daft. Do you know what I've started to call you? My moustache. Right in front of my nose and I never noticed. Get it sorted, Faith. We've had a chat. If you keep the towel pressed tightly, it should staunch it. Well, who let you in? Monty, take the 300,000, please. I know your sister's a bit emotional and that, but man to man? Man to man, I'll rip your bloody head off. Yeah. 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 You had it and you know it. Churchill never gave in to the evil tyrants perpetrating heinous what's it on the innocents. He stood up on the rooftop of life and yelled that while there's a lamppost left in this green and pleasant land, it shall be defended and there shall never be no surrender. Yeah, but he was mad. For your own sake, take the money. Never! Oh, we wouldn't have had tonight. So long as you're happy, Miss Pringle. Want a bit of advice? Don't be doing with all the banks and the loans and what have you. I keep all me worldlies in the stuffing at the back of the sofa. 
My cat's been in all day. See you. And now, the cat fight we've all been uh, waiting for. Fighting out of the blue corner, the Russian who feels even the strongest man's heart with her. He took a right hook from Siberia Vera. Oh dear! Oh, oh, oh! Right, mate, come on. No, no. Get on. You fainted. Who did? You did. Who was it? Where's the women? Where's the women? Steady on, Monty. It's in the cabin. Alice. There was a women's bout on. Lucy Lastic. I've got to find her. Where is she? I've got to find her, Batman. Oh, Monty! Monty! Excuse me, please. Is, is Lucy Lassick still around, please? Sorry, my love. She's already gone. Gone? Where? Where's she gone? Oh, I suppose. Where's she live? Do you want a signed photo? She left some in here. Yes, yes. Oh, my God, yes. It's, uh... Oh, yes, yes. going to be all right. I thought it was a dream, you see. So Faith was serious then, you reckon? Oh, it, it'll be coming for a long time. You'll stay here. <sighs> you know what? I think I'd like to thank that, Billy. I mean, he's sort of united our family, hasn't he? United in the face of adversity. Still two grand short, you not at all know. We'll get it. I now have absolutely no doubt we'll keep the garden centre. The gods are on our side. All the gods that ever were and ever will be are smiling down on us. Has made 500 individual sausage rolls. Oh, splendid, splendid. Ten seconds, Monty. 24 hours of all this chirpy, chirpy, cheap, cheap. We're going to have you rocking round the clock. I'm feeling a bit sleepy already. Four hours are going to make us or break us. Look at him. 
Don't know how he ever thought he could muster two grand from Miss Bob in here. They ain't got four pence between them. I'm sure it'll pick up. We will up the creek. There's only one place I can think of where we can get hold of a paddle. Plenty of elbow room tonight, isn't there? I've got a five of you to sing Yellow Ribbon. And I've got a tenner if you don't. You want me to break into Miss Pringle's house and steal her life savings? You always have to get so emotive, don't you? Aren't those the facts? I think stealing something means... You don't have any intention of returning it. She's an old woman, Wynne. Exactly. She'll never notice. Look, she keeps the money stuffed up the back of the settee. Come on, Mont. You're the one that prats on about a family all the time. You used to cheat at solitaire. I'd see her when we were kids. This ain't the game, Monty. This is a real thing. No matter how much of this... Tory party rhetoric you come out with. Nothing had induced me to steal money from an old family friend. Fancy a drink with your wicked old stepfather? Never been known to say no. <sighs> Just tonight to get through. How do you mean? Well, by noon tomorrow, all that will be ours, and everything's all right, isn't it? I think you need a holiday. Those friends still got that place in Tenerife. I can't think about anything till tomorrow. Is this job making you think? Well, it's panning out, it's making me think, I can tell you. Why? Morally. What it's all about. Eh? Tequila? that make it? Nearly a hundred. Exactly. Sixty-eight. Where's Winston? Toilet. Fear and wonder. That's what my life consists of. I feel bad. I feel bad, yeah. I feel bad. I can't do anything about that. It's just the way I feel, you know. You, you think I don't feel? No, what, I don't know what you feel. Only you know what you feel. You can tell me what you feel, but then what you tell me is only what you tell me. It's not what might actually be actual. I think, I think you need a holiday. I uh, sometimes think I need more than that. I've got to go. No, no, stay, oh, stay over, no, stay I over. I can't. I just remembered, sorry. Please. No, I've got to go for you got a tale to tell. Take a trip down Lonely Street. Hold the fort. What do you mean? We found the paddle. Make sure Miss Pringle doesn't leave the confines of this public house. Why? Our lives depend on it. Never in the history of. Think not what you. Not to reason why, but to. Not. Come on, get out.
Keep your mince appealed. Pardon? Keep your mince appealed. What? And if the old Bill was a filth plod tip, we best take to our heels down the alley, eh? Are you taking the piss? Well, keep your mince appealed. What's all that about? It's neighbourhood watch around here, actually. Oh, well. You best put some gloves on them. You don't want to get your dabs everywhere, do you? I suppose you've done this kind of thing before. It's not this kind of thing. It's Miss Pringles. Look, she leaves the back door open and keeps the money stuffed down behind a sofa. It ain't a jelly night job. All right, all right. It's locked. Of course it is. Dimbo. Well, what are we gonna do? You're gonna fix me up with Lucy Elastic? Yeah, of course I will. I love her, Winston. You haven't even met her yet. But why are you giving it all that now? The door's locked and we're staring oblivion in the face. She gave Mum a key. I've been meaning to give it back. You owe me one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh! Oh! So? It's good to see you. I didn't... I thought... I was looking in the garden at the work you started. And I thought of you. Miss Pringle! You can't leave yet. We haven't drawn the raffle. It's my Lucy. I'm not stealing any money from my Lucy. It's not her money, Dingbat. What's she doing here? 
We need to move that sofa. What if she wakes up? Glass it with this. <coughs> so you're the one who fancies her, aren't you, are you? He's the one. <laughs> If you've come to gloat... You're getting paranoid in your old age. Oh, thanks. No, I didn't mean that. I didn't mean... that. No, I didn't mean, but I had to say. I'm sorry I shouldn't have come. My mistake. Tiddles. She stuffed her dead cat in there. Look. It's a mangy old fur coat. Oi, oi, where are you going? I'll pay two shillings for a medley of my favourites.
my God! Go away! You... I didn't know it wouldn't last! 42 years it lasted! Every day, a triple reminder of your fail! Oh. Leave me alone! You're ruining me! You hang! You hang! Hang! You hang! What? What? What do you want? Our Hilda falls for this Billy handsome and he knows it geezer and hands over on a plate our home and our livelihood to one Wesley Willis. Now he's evicted us onto the street while I for one will not be budging an inch. How can that evil grey-haired toad live with himself? Please take this, just a small token. I'm not wholly bad. Wesley Willis. Oh my God! This isn't a game, this is our Dunkirk. Didn't we lose that one? OK, boys. Fun over. Trespassing. Where are you going, boys? 
They can't do anything. We can use reasonable force to clear you off this land. Reasonable force, Monty. So you're going to cause trouble, eh? Come near me and I'll take you to the cleaners, mate. <laughs> Oh, you're afraid to look upon the fruits of your labours. My garden centre, and I shall not be moved from it. Why didn't you tell me you were pregnant with triplets? Because you scarpered before I could. <laughs> Are you sure you, you want me to go? You know, you don't think it'd be better if I stayed? You've got to find out who you are and what you want out of life. I know who I am. Please, Winston. See, you know who I am too. I'm Winston. We don't really like each other anymore, do we? Yes, we do. You only think we do, because I'm kicking you out. Look, I've got me mortgage money back and you've got your pocket money. Now go. I've got to get off to work. You're his father! It's time you understood your responsibilities! He's 42 years old, for God's sake! Oh! How can I be blamed for not being a father when I didn't even know I was a father? You violated me and ran off to sea, boasting about your exploits, no doubt. Oh, let me down! You did He was in a trance. My cousin reckoned he could levitate, but he's a diabetic now. Look at this place, Robin. What about it? This is so awful, I could cry. My Hilda. We could go to that new pizzeria down Mill Street. It's a bit flash, but I reckon you're worth it. My treat. But don't have one of those ones with a little hairy fish on, though. Yeah. You shattered her heart into a thousand pieces. <laughs> All gold. I think the olive set off the sprinklers. Why didn't you listen to my cries of no? Leave me alone, you hag! Must do something to help your children. You brought them up. The state they're in down to 42 years of your nurturing. One more bender, you're going to end up dead. No more drinking. Return the 80,000 we owe the plants. What? Well, we're practically skint as it is. I don't all this private medicine to be paid for. We've got the garden centre now. Look, the Americans are coming next week. I booked a restaurant. Mineral water. Did you sleep with her? Who? Hilda. Didn't need to. <laughs> you louse. What are you talking about? You told me to. Whatever I did was under your instruction. Apparently Monty the fruitcake's gone straight back in there. Shall I send another injunction? Or do you want another slapping arranged? Leave him alone. You all right? Look at me. Look at me. Hi, Lucy. Uh, Montgomery Plant. Delighted. No, ecstatic to make your acquaintance. You're my all-time favourite wrestler. 
Anyway, uh, hi. 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 Oh, hi, Miss Pringle. I managed to get your fur coat back. Someone was trying to flog it off down the pub. I wasn't having any of that. I, uh, you know, what's it? Ran off. Ta da oh, you fool, Monty. I've just claimed the insurance. I won't say nothing if you won't. Can I smell tea? No. Where have you got company in? Oh, hello. Montgomery Plant. This is my goddaughter, Lucy Lastic. Lucy's come to stop with me for a bit because she's just had a bust up with her boyfriend. Really? He played for the Orient. Before him, there was a black belt judo player, and before that, a synchronised swimmer. Now, he was odd. Sportsman, she is. Just cos you're jealous, Auntie. I've seen it all before, Auntie Harris. Take away the anabolic steroids, these fitness freaks, they end up, oh, washed out, rheumatoid riddled wrecks by the time they're 30. <laughs> Lucy, you'd have ended up pushing him round Victoria Park, wondering what had happened to your life. I shall have to employ you as my agony uncle. Oh, mon pleasure, mademoiselle. Oh, with a bit of French thrown in. So what are you then? A professor? No, not really, no, no. no. I never really bothered, see. I'm, I'm more business. Commerce. Business and commerce. Hmm. He worked at his late mother's garden centre, <laughs> but they got fooled into giving it away to some white boys. <laughs> 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 Old folk. You can see why some people beat them senseless with pokers, can't you? Ooh! <laughs> Come in the post this morning. The £80,000 I lent Billy. You're joking. Let's whack it in quick and see if it clears. Never thought we'd ever see that again. Let's have a look. Don't suppose Wesley consider selling us our own back. For 80 grand? You've got to be joking. Only we'd be mug enough to sell it for that. We weren't mug enough. We tricked. Didn't have a common decency to hand it to you himself. Well, he don't like goodbyes, I expect. We're having a third each, as agreed. Absolutely. £26,666 and 66 pence recurring. In my pocket. Is this all our lives are worth? Our home, all our work? Well, it don't rub any salt with me, their conscience money. <laughs> All right. Palatial here. Love it. This is a life for me. How can we help? Uh, have you got a suite? A nice one. No rubbish. Cash buyer. Right, sir. Have you made a reservation? Uh, no. No, I haven't. Just sort of hoped I didn't have to. Well, there's a recession on. Thought you'd be crying out for punters. If you care to study our current tariff, sir, I'll see if we have a vacancy. Yeah. Bloody hell. This price must have a sea view. Huh. Are you sure it's OK to be here? Does that exactly make access easy? See why you want to hold on to this place. Is it wonderful? Oh, it's a little piece of paradise in the middle of London. I have a dream for this place. Lucy. Lucy. It's a sight better than Basildon Town Centre. I shall kick up such a rumpus. I'll write to Esther Ranson and chain myself to the gates. It's where he lived. What? Basildon. Oh, romance. It always ends up being packed in bags on a Sunday morning when he's out playing football. I'm finished with all that. Maybe you just haven't found the right man yet. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's not like fun being with you. <laughs> I don't get that awful pressure of lust like I normally do when fellas pretend to be friends. Oh. <laughs> I can tell that you, like me, me! Absolutely. Absolutely. <sighs> oh, I'm signing on at quarter past three. I better go. Bye, Mum. <laughs> See ya. Bye. 
should have seen his face when I asked for £26,000 worth of premium bonds. Lucky old Ernie. Now, your Chinese do this to each other all day long. Oh, mad on it they are. And none of them have got the stress. And they'd have more stress. Shh. What? Don't talk. All right. You just concentrate on the lovely feeling. Blimey, that was a right Bobby Dazzler. Action replay. You can get this on video now, you know. I've always fancied you. It's only since you tired yourself up a bit I've been able to admit it, though. Are you, uh... Are you missing your old dad? Did I tell your mum about this place? Don't tell about all glamorous women, though, eh? <laughs> Bet I'll get excited when I think about Driving picture shows you took me to And I don't recall a lot about the movie star Must be that old Chevrolet in you They don't make cars like they used to I wish <laughs> Stop being such a scaredy cat. It's just that when I lose my temper, I really lose it. I can't believe you pulled that Lucy. Well, it's not official yet, so, you know, don't say nothing to her, but things are going rather swimmingly. I'd help it out, got to be said. You'd help her on the Aris out, it's got to be said. <laughs> if she'd have him. Oi! Got to go. Yeah, come on, Mont. Nothing's worth a right pasting. Oh, my God, it's the court injunction, I bet you. Oi! Plant seeds garden centre. Close, mate. Montgomery plant. Oh? Got a letter. Hilda plant. Yes. Letter. Winston plant. Yeah. Letter. Oh. What do yours say? Same as yours. He's demanded a meet, and we're all in stock because you've been pitching your tent on his land. Maybe this is it. Doomsday. Kids! Kids! Don't be scared. I want to be your friend. Back you not off. Rather throw yourself forward into my arms and feel my blood. For you are my children. We well, ain't your children. What are you talking about? Oh, this is another bleeding con job. My children. My father's dead. You're a Willis. We're plants. You were made in this garden centre. Forty-two years ago, I threw back my head and roared like a lion. Mum will be back soon. Love me. Have I ever said I ain't? Of course I do. Come here, you little sit on legs. I'll miss you when you're away. I'll jump ship just to see you. <laughs> Don't be stopped. You can't do that. I've got to kiss you. No, Wesley, we must not I'm on fire. I've got to <gasps> kiss you. <gasps> but we was told our dad was dead. I wasn't to know that you were the result of our alfresco liaison. So our mother he's saying alfresco about? I was overseas. I heard your mother had found someone else. What can I do to make it up? Ask me anything. Our home? Yes, we'll have our garden centre back. Anything but that. Glass in Winston. It's been sold to an American consortium. If the consortium withdraws, of course, it'll be yours. You don't want to see your own father bankrupt. You are our dad. Look, we're all in shock. Suddenly I'm a father for the first time in my life. We've got 42 years to catch up on. Satisfied? Are you satisfied? I've told them who I am. The ball's in their court. They've grown up now. Are you listening? I always 
felt instinctively I was somehow different from the rest of the herd. I mean, my father being a great man comes as little or no surprise to me. Great man? Well, successful then. You can't deny he's successful, Mum. Can't deny he looks like Herman Munster. I hope it's not hereditary. I can't believe you're made up by all this. It could have been worse. How? How could it have been worse than our arch enemy who's ruined our lives and duped us out of what is rightfully our inheritance? Well, it could have been two for your someone. Have a bit of respect for Mother. Oh, I'm out of here. I ain't listening to your two demented ramblings. After all these years, after all these thoughts, here he is alive, our dad. Why didn't Mum tell us? He's not who I had in my mind at all. He tips up after 42 years and expects us to throw our arms around him. This changes absolutely nothing. I don't care what he claims to be. I still have my vision. I know exactly what's to be done. Just that second when you were talking just now, I suddenly knew. Better to have caught the sunlight for a second than never to have caught it and spend eternity in purgatory going, if only I'd have more time. What are you doing? Your mother told me she wrote to me before she died. Obviously. <laughs> anyway, I can't claim my seat on the board. Dad. Are you sure your mother would approve of you leaving your wife? I'm speaking as a um, concerned dad. How many wives are you, Ed? Six. Well, they are. See, something in my blood is telling me to be a wild rover. Seriously, you know, I'm considering a new vocation, as they say. Um, this time in my life, I'm ready for a new challenge. And the boy should always take over from the father. Right. Gotta go. I only put 20p in a metre. If you uh, ever fancy a sherbet, you know. Bet you've had your nose put out of joint, ain't you? I can't believe you're his father. You imagine how I feel. He looks so unloved. Don't know what Mum would say. She was always fastidious about the muck. She'd be the first to tear the boards down. It's a waste of time, though, isn't it? I mean, can you honestly see Wesley changing his mind? The end of our dreams. And I am left soulless with 26 grand in my pocket. 52 grand? Ernie can wait. I'm gonna cash in me premium bonds. I ain't gonna stand by and see our father get one over on us. Build a plantation, Monty. I have a plan. But first, we've gotta make an appointment with that villain. I don't hold you in any way responsible. I want you to know that. I've always needed a dad. Someone to look to, feel safe. Oh, 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 it's all right, sit back. Mum always called me Florence Nightingale. You shouldn't be working in that warehouse. You're too good for that. I split the 80 grand between Winston and Monty as it was my fault, allowing myself to be duped by that Billy. That money was for you. I've got rent to pay now, not having the garden centre. Come live with me, rent free, until you get yourself sorted out a bit. Uh, yeah, yeah, I, I could help you with, with your work. Mm, yes, uh, if we can find a niche. I don't want to work with that Billy. <laughs> When do the Americans, you know, what's it, heliport? That deal's not completed yet, so we've still got time. He's one slimy git. Now he knows we're his children before it weren't so bad. He'd do us, so we do him. Offence being the best form of defence kind of thing. 
We should do whatever on our own, though, Mons. Let's keep Winston out of here. Oh, absolutely. Careless talk, etc. Besides, he's in no fit state to help. I come to this club whenever I'm in England. Can I be honest? I have so much money, Luscious, I'm almost embarrassed. I'm very famous. I lost this eye fighting for king and country. I've got this rare heart. Doctors is written I might not have long to live. Days to go and billions to spend. Hilda will find out the full SP and what's it the facts and figures to get our garden centre back. There's no way she'll let Wesley get away with nothing. Well, how's she going to stop him? You leave her to do her job, we'll get on with ours. Just as long as she's all right in there. Can you paint? CNC grade one, no messy. Good. You're doing us a mural. We pay weekly. Oh, yeah, don't worry. You're all on the payroll. Our task is Herculean, but together and with £52,000... We'll make it F.A.B. So you've moved in already? Exactly. You look. And you can quit all that toffee now. I've nothing else you need. Oh, Hilda. Oh, Hilda. After all that's happened, is that the best you can come up with? Oh, Hilda. Let's just start again. Oh, well, that's all right then. There's nothing I can say, is there? But I've always liked you. And I don't care whether you believe me or not, but I do. You like me too. Whatever I might have felt for you in the past is long in the past. I've fallen for another man. You took to it like a doctor, won't you? You've worn me out. Want a sandwich? God, the things I could have done with my life if it wasn't for tellers and telly. Oh, my fate, all right. What's going on here, then? This is going to knock Versailles into a cocked hat. You're all mad, you plants. Not mad, visionaries. Seen Winston? Ah, oh, you know what he's like. <laughs> you getting on all right? I keep looking out the window and expecting to see him in the garden. He'll be back. Do you think so? Oh, it's well chronicled. Lots of married men go off to indulge their fantasies. Should I have played it differently? You are still working at the cosmetic surgery, aren't you, Faye? Yeah. Hilda and I have got a little plan, and we'd like your help. You don't mind me coming along? I wanted to show you how easy it is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> can you smile and be insincere? I can try. <laughs> Look, relax. This luncheon is purely social. Here he is. Smile. Ah, oh, Lewis. Lewis, the one man it's still a genuine pleasure to do business with. Wes, you're a bit of a mess. Mm. Uh, meet uh, my daughter and co-director of the firm, Hilda. Oh, wow, Hilda, Hilda. Oh, that is a beautiful name. <laughs> He's a mess today. But on Thursday, he's going to be front cover of Vogue material. She's checked me into this cosmetic surgery so uh, I can rid my features of these teensy weensy scars. Well, so long as it isn't where Michael Jackson went. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 uh. The dog certainly bit you, Mr. Plant. Not a booze, pal. Wild, wild women. I saw you shaking your funky stuff on the dance floor last night again. It'd be a part of Guinness with a put in it. There was a trail of women down my corridor last night. Fighting them off, were you? Did he see me about Australian? Honestly, 
Got a result there. Honest. And I'm on a promise for tonight on that one that looks like Babs Windsor. Okay, this is it, guys. Hilda's thing, part one. How do I look? Great. No, seriously. You're fine, you big Dorothy. Opportunity rears its ugly head and bids a sally forth, but rarely. Oh, I like it. You get to wear the bleeding suit. We all have our parts to play. Dad, Dad, it took me 30 phone calls to get this appointment. Now, do you really want to be left with unattractive, debilitating welts all over your face? No. Go. Sometimes it's hard to be a... Woman? Son? A son? Have you got a father? Well, I have. And I love him. And do you know? Do you know? I've never wrapped my arms around his neck and said, Daddy, Daddy, I love you. Well, maybe you should get off and do just that. I've let me brother and sister down. My mummy's dead. Oh, my God. What? I'm married. I forgot. A pint of lager and a packet of pork scratches. Please. Where's Wesley? Uh, why? I want to run through some figures with him. He's, um, indisposed. Where is he? I want a meeting. I feel I've been, you know, with regards you and me. Hilda, I deserve all the slag you throw at me. Let's let bygones be bygones. We can be mates. <laughs> Do you want to buy me lunch? I would kill to buy you lunch. I know lots of friends. They got off on the wrong foot. I I've got to change. Meet me at the French place at one o'clock. Wait for me. Till the world freezes over. is going to be here soon. Are you sure it's going to be all right? Of course it's going to be all right. Just remember what Wesley himself said. Were the Americans to withdraw, the garden centre would be yours. Are you sure he won't be angry? He'll be fine. Stop panicking. Oh, my gosh. What am I going to do? What am I going to say? Hilda, I'm here, right? Monty, relax. You've already been introduced as co-director. Introduce me as your personal assistant. And together, we shall suck them in and blow them out in little bubbles. Now then, what your surgeon has asked us to look at are these little marks here that are going to be left by the frame. Right. Well, you'd better measure up. Mm. Doctor? Uh. <sighs> it's, um... Very kind of you to facilitate this meeting at such short notice. Um, the thing is, we don't want you to buy the garden centre. Tea? Biscuits? I beg your pardon? Um, the thing is, there's no point in beating about the bush. Relax. I have a Garibaldi. They're your favourite. Oh, thanks. We're appealing to the better side of your nature. I mean... Couldn't you find somewhere else to plant your helicopter? Milk. There are such lovely flowers there. And the house has got a turret. And Monty's got a rope ladder and everything. I think what uh, Miss Plant, Willis, is saying vis-a-vis -vis the appropriability of a heliport, etc., on that particular site, um... <laughs> Mr. Willis will find you another one. Better even, eh, Hills? There's a soul there. The soul of generations of our family will be crushed underfoot. Mm. Mm. Yeah. 
Very interesting. Mm. Classic case of thingy syndrome. Mm. Are you students? There's a different, you know, we're with plastic surgeons. Yes. Where's my consultant? That's me. Uh, that's, that's me. Where's my real consultant? He's coming once we've done the preliminaries. Yeah. I'm out of here. Farewell, my loonies. Hey. Where? Lost my faith. Found my faith. Come. Uh. Now look, if Wesley Willis is too lily-livered to tell me face to face he's reneging, then I'll take my not insubstantial business elsewhere. But I want to hear it from the horse's mouth. Now, when's he coming back? Willis household, please. Wesley's leaving. We couldn't hold him any longer, man. Ha! Ha ha ha! I understand. Well, you'll have to clear the American out. He'll be back at any moment. Could you fix me some sparkling water, young man? Certainly. Come on, here. Try that way. But he's missing, guys. Shut up, you drunken twit. You're gonna ruin everything. Oh, the longest. She loves me. She loves me not. She loves me not. She loves me not. She loves me not. People in love. Love. If not I, say me to it. Love. Much made in heaven, ain't it? Oh, look, shut up. We've got a rescue package for the garden centre. Oh. Now, you've got to make yourself scarce, or otherwise oh. you're going to blow the oh. oh. oven. Daddy! Daddy! What are you three doing here? Stop what are you doing to my father? I'm the only one who loves you, Daddy. I want to... Throw open my arms and shout. I love you. I love you. Oh, 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 oh. Daddy? Daddy? We'd better call an ambulance. If we can't build the heliport, we're not buying the office block. And if I don't hear from Wesley within the next 24 hours, the deal is off. And you'll be hearing from our legal team. Well, let's hope you don't meet Wesley on the way. Has he regained consciousness at all? Only Wesley can play hopscotch on a marble floor in his state. I'm sorry I didn't turn up to the restaurant. I should have called. I'm very sorry. Bumped into an old friend. You know. You didn't? I want to make it up to you. <laughs> I can't believe he didn't turn up. Well, now you know how I feel. Pardon? You mean you did turn up? You'll never know. Come on. You can tell me everything you've been up to. I've cancelled the Americans. They were scheduled for a meeting tomorrow. I'm in charge, OK? Where are you taking me? I'm moving in. Having Wesley's room till he feels better. Because the owner's lying critically ill in hospital, he thinks it's down to me and I want to build on his only asset. Do you know what I do when I get knocked off? I bounce some poor sausage round the ring. You're feeling more chirpy then? Oh, last time I made the mistake of going for a kid. This time I'm going for a real man. May I interject at this juncture that the body is merely the casement of the soul? 
I want someone I can admire, respect, look up to for the things they've done. You want a relationship that's had time to, dare I say it, flower? Oh, I think it's a damn shame to throw the old white flag in the air already. You and me are the best team since Bonnie and Clyde. Before we do anything, we're going to have a little chat. I'm watering. Water later, Billy now. <sighs> Relax, put that down. I am relaxed. What am I going to do to you? I, I don't know. See Wesley. Come here. I'm going out with someone. But I was in love with you first. Don't be daft. Look, once I've cleaned up from this deal, maybe we could start our own little business. Maybe something horticultural or whatever. Who knows? You're serious, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> I'm rushing you, aren't I? Just found you. Monty and Hilda. You can't trust them. Shocking, isn't it, eh? <laughs> One's own flesh and blood. Have they ruined us, Dad? Are we brassic? No board for us to have a seat on anymore, I suppose. <laughs> it wasn't me, Dad. It was the other two. They tricked you out of the house. Ruins your deal with the Americans. Horrible part of them. Dad. Dad. You're back in the land of the living. Oh, marvellous. I, I can see the life back in your eyes. It's me, your boy. Ruins my deal with the Americans. What's happened to my heliport? Well, if it wasn't so serious to get laugh. <laughs> laugh. How could you? I was only doing what I had to. You kissed me and you knew. You knew what you'd done to me. I love you. You've just been driven on by revenge. I was just trying to get our home back. <gasps> what am I doing being duped by you? I should have known you're all the same, you, Monty, Winston. Just no good sad cases. <laughs> Have a nice life, Hilda. You'll never see me again. Yes, yeah, it's, it's news to me as well. Yeah, Lewis, I don't just want you to understand, I need you to understand. Please. Reconsider, Lewis. Why, why don't we continue as if the meeting with my daughter never took place, right? Lewis? Lewis? Lewis! You balls that up! Thanks for coming, Faith. I thought we should meet, you know, on the... Uh neutral ground to talk about our next move. So you won't be working for Wesley, then? I've got a real gut wrench that yet another avenue of opportunity is turning into a cul-de-sac. A single no would suffice. Faith. Oh, don't go pathetic. Just because things aren't working out how you'd hoped. I have tried to help. 
What are you doing here? Why don't you come home? Still fighting them off, I see. Don't be daft. She's my accountant. I mean, we were only fighting for what is ours. He don't look very well. You two have hidden your Machiavellian light under a bushel. They said you were feeling better. Oh, marvellous. Never better. You flashed everything I ever owned down the toilet. Posing as one of my team with no authority. We were only trying to persuade the Americans to find another site. Well, that way, we thought everyone could be happy. Instead, you fly in and, in your ignorance, screw up the whole shebang. Well, the Americans still not happy then? I've got no insurance. I've landed a bloody great bill for this place. I can't even afford a bowl of hospital mints. This is all on tick. Just a minute. You're loaded. Aren't you? What the hell are you doing here? All we're trying to do is to reclaim what was stolen off of us in the first place. If the bank knew that I'd got the garden centre, it would be theirs now. As a father, seeking to build bridges to his son, why not let me use it? What? It's just sitting there, doing nothing. Give me back the 80 grand I gave you, and it's yours. Yeah, and the thing is... The money's uh, gone. Spent. So you two are here on the scrounge. Out! I think you'd better go. Please. Wouldn't it gladden Mum's heart to see us all working together? <gasps> Let them use it, Billy. Use it. Are you sure? Yes. Yes, are we going to have a grand opening or what? You think they'll tip up? The hit parade may never beckon for the Nashville noise, but here we can be big fish in a glorious pool. From miles around, people will flock to the plantation. Here they shall stop and listen. We'll do three sets a day. Never in the history of the English-speaking peoples will fun be so much fun. Oh, God. Ease off. Stick with me, boys, and tomorrow we'll be top of the pops. I can't believe how oak trees from acorns grow. Without you, I wouldn't have bothered. <laughs> oh, hey, you know what you were saying about, you know, me dipping my toe back into the shark-infested waters of romance? I think I'm ready to take my socks off. To the public road. You couldn't afford a private room. Your son's been in. My stepson? Nice to have children. <laughs> My children put me here. They brought me this low into this hell. They shoved me in this bin and are putting the lid on. Families, eh? My missus lost me. <laughs> Do you want an aspirin? <laughs> There's no place like home. What are you doing? I was going to hold your hand. Oh. Out of everybody, like, I've ever been out with and that, I want you to come and meet my mum. I wonder if I'd never tasted butter if margarine would have been my elixir. <laughs> you sound like Monty. Get us, dog. Yo, bro. Don't them trousers knack. You got your dreams, pal. And I'm pleased for you. 
This ain't just some kind of folly, Wynne. This is my future. So long as you know, Monty, know that this, this is what you want, and not anything else. You ain't bought a motorbike, have you? No, but I may well do, because that's the kind of wild guy I am. See, I'm not meant for the meat and two veg existence and off around here. I'm glad you're happy, bro. I'm glad you are. Hey, uh, Mum. I'm not useless at all, am I? I'm never going to get married. <laughs> I'm going to stay here and look after you. What about when you fall in love? Then I'll marry you. <laughs> One day, you might find a princess. And when you do, you must give her this ring. My daddy gave that to my mummy. Now I've found my princess. Never 